to another vlog. I look a little wild in this morning. My hair's been in a clip all day, but today has already been very eventful and we wanted to vlog the day, take you with us. Our car was delivered today. Zelda is home. She made it safe and sound, um, but that's the one trouble with electric vehicles. She arrived pretty close to dead, so we actually need to go take her to a charger. And that is where our day and vlog shall begin because we're gonna do a few things while we're at the little mall area where the superchargers are. I'm gonna go to Sephora. I need to get some things. I was unpacking, like obviously since the last vlog over the last couple days, I've just been unpacking everything, trying to set stuff up. I thought I had another bottle of my Kerastase Blonde Absolu conditioner and I didn't. I only had the shampoo and the purple conditioner. So I need to get that, especially now that I have fresh blonde in. This is gonna be the first wash. So I wanna make sure I have my good, my good blonde goodness. So picking that up at Sephora. And then honestly, we just need to get some random things. We need like recycling bags and just stuff like that. So we're gonna putter around, pick some things up while our car charges. And then we're actually gonna head downtown and get Meryl. We're gonna be bringing Meryl home today. It's gonna be her first time seeing the place. So that's gonna be very exciting. She's gonna be very overwhelmed, I'm sure. <laughs> this is a much bigger space than she's ever been used to. So we're really excited for her to be home and finally back with us. We'll probably head to Costco as well over downtown. So lots to do today. Uh, we're gonna go charge the car. I'm gonna come back, get ready, wash my hair. Wanna take some pictures. I have to film a reel today. Like it's a busy day. We have a lot to do today. So I wanted to start the vlog and make sure that we bring you along with us. So first things first, let's go charge our sweet second born child, Zelda. Bring her back to life. So, so happy to have our car. Oh my God, I I can't wait. We'll come back, get ready, and then we're gonna head downtown. What a day. Welcome back to another vlog, y'all. See you soon. Hello, we are back. Zelda has been given a beautiful car wash. We got some things that we needed and I picked up my Sephora order. I don't know why I felt inclined to pick these up, but I just wanted to see. I saw this Drunk Elephant O Blues, O Blues, Rosy Drops, and it was kind of cool. It was like a skincare makeup thing in one. The back says, you know that flush you get from falling in love or running through meadow of wildflowers? A golden peachy pink wash of color wakes up your face with while a nourishing mix of barrier replenishing omega oils and essential fatty acids keeps skin soft and soothed. So it's supposed to give a nice little warm flush to your face. I thought that was interesting. And then I also picked up the de-bronzy sunshine drops, which I've had the umber tint thingy with this, but I've never had just the sunshine drops. So I just was curious. I just wanted to see the umber tint sunscreen was out of stock. So I picked those up and then the Sephora didn't carry Kerastase. I didn't even think to check because I thought like most Sephora's carried it. Like I've never not seen it at a Sephora. So um, I got the Dry Bar Blonde Ale Brightening Conditioner instead. I've never tried it, but I love Dry Bar. They're my favorite dry shampoo, so I thought I'd give it a go. This was the one they had, and then it was so funny. We picked up our mail. I had a package there, like at the Canada Post, and the package that came in was a package from Amika with blonde hair care. How hilarious. I was literally there buying blonde conditioner and then we went and picked up the mail after which seems to be exploding I don't know what's exploding there's something exploding in here I wonder if it's cut oh god anyway how hilarious bust your brass the whole line was in the mail so Amika blend PR thank you kindly that's amazing I don't know if I should just go return this now but anyway there's my little haul okay I just checked what the leak would be in the box confirmed it is the conditioner check it out ready <laughs> i don't know if that's gonna be good then if it's sitting open so perhaps it is not the worst thing that i bought the conditioner which is hilarious meant to be if you will okay um i need more coffee <sighs> dan has asked for my assistance He's putting the Peloton together in the garage. I feel like it's been like a month since we 
had our Peloton set up. So what a glorious reunion this will be. Also, everyone say hello to Zelda. She's back. How beautiful you are. So in the garage, we're gonna do some kind of home gym, something or other, but we're still undecided on what that looks like exactly. But this seems to be kind of the perfect little corner nook for the Peloton for now. It's really hot in here. We definitely need to put a fan. Here's where the Peloton is living for now. I have showered. The hair has been washed. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be good for the week. And I'm just whipping through a quick makeup. It's literally, I've kept the same bag of makeup that I've shown in the last like three videos because I still haven't cleaned up the makeup room yet to go through any of my stash. Nothing new to see here in terms of makeup. I'm just gonna whip through it real quick like bronzer. Some powder because I am sweating profusely. It's so, so hot up here. Oh my goodness. I should have actually just done my makeup downstairs, but I am sweating buckets. So I am literally just packing the powder on my brows. More bronzer. I was absolutely schwitzing in the bathroom upstairs. I had to come down. Oh, so I just finished off my makeup, mascara. I put some blush on. This is a Becca blush. And then I put on my good old little RMS Beauty lip shine. So that's my finished makeup look. I wanted to show you guys some new earrings. This portion of the video is very kindly sponsored by Majuri. I've worked with Majuri for a very long time. I had a collection with Majuri way back in the day. It's an amazing Canadian company. They make the most stunning jewelry essentials, gorgeous, beautiful quality, everyday pieces. They also come out with new launches all the time, keeping it fun and fresh, but they've got the basics covered. And so many of my pieces that I wear every single day are from Majuri. And I have a landing page on the Majuri website that's always linked in the description box down below so you can see what my favorite pieces are from Majuri, what I'm usually wearing and donning on my body. Some of them include this gorgeous bangle here. I've got the thin dome ring that I always have on my pinky. This is the Charlotte ring that I love. This is an older um, Majuri collection, the little eye. Some throwbacks there, the little hoops. That I always have in my ears are there mini hoops um, I think there's mini and then this is the bolt hoop if I do recall and then the latest piece that has been added into my collection are these gorgeous these are the small chunky hoops 14 karat yellow gold absolutely stunning these are the latest hoops from Majuri they're absolutely beautiful I had a little girls night on Friday night and wore these out and I just think they are so fun you know what I actually don't usually wear hoops that are too big all of my hoops that I wear on my main hole my first hole if you will are usually a little bit smaller I kind of like the smaller hoop life but these are really nice and light which actually I think is key because a lot of like bigger hoops are really heavy and kind of pull your ears down but these ones are so light they don't drag my ear at all and they are just absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous I feel like it just adds such a pop of sophistication to my ear I'm a golden woman I'm a blonde woman and a golden woman Majuri thank you so much these new hoops are absolutely stunning they brought out a few new sizes these are the small chunky hoops I'll be sure to link those below for you but look at these beauties oh i'm obsessed i love and this is my finished look everyone thank you so much to madrid i'll be sure to link all of my favorites below you can check out the landing page when you shop through my landing page or any of the links from Majuri, you will get 10 percent off of your first purchase so Majuri, thank you i am in love as always as always you crushed it again with a new launch I'm in love. Um, my outfit, rest of my outfit, this little tank is from Bash Paris. Love it, love the detail on the collar here. I am going bra free as per usual, so if you see a little nip, it ill, what it ill. Um, and these pants are actually from a brand called Marcella London. I got a package from them and I had no idea what they were sending. I don't know how they do my size or what, but to Marcella London, thank you so much. Some of the pieces were so beautiful. I need to turn that fan right back on. Oh my God. Obviously, in case you hadn't noticed, still no AC. The, uh, yeah, like I mentioned in the last vlog, the quote we got was like really, really ridiculously high. We need to shop around and look around for some other options. I don't know, 
I don't know what's happening there, but all I know is that she's toasty. <laughs> she is toasty today. <laughs> so that's the look of the day. Gonna try and take some pics, and then we're gonna head to Costco, and we're gonna head downtown to go get Miaro. <laughs> Meryl's coming home. Oh my God. She's gonna be so scared. Oh, poor thing. And she was just getting so comfy at Dan's parents' place and playing with her dog, Riley. No, she wasn't playing. That's, that's an absolute lie. She was not playing, but she was getting comfortable with Riley. So it is, it is sad to take her away just as she was getting cozy, but it's time for the little kitty cat to come home. So let's go get Meryl. Riley girl! <laughs> Riley girl! Brrr. You ready to come home, Meow? I know! I know! I know! Meow! Oh. Meow! Are you gonna miss her? I'm gonna miss you so much! Hi, Meow! So tragic news, my friends. On our way to getting Meryl, we also stopped at Home Depot because we have a wasp infestation in our house. Another joy, the drama does not end. We actually had a pest control couple come and remove three wasp nests that were being built on the outside of our house. We think it's like these trees. We have a lovely old little mini green belt behind us and it's like city lines, city trees, and we think that the wasps are coming from there. We've asked our neighbors, they don't have a problem, but we have wasps everywhere in our house, and they just keep, they keep popping up new nests. So we went and picked up some wasp traps. This is a wasp, I don't know, it's supposed to mimic an old wasp nest to hopefully ward it away. So I'm gonna go hang these like on the back fence to try and keep the wasps away from our patio because it's it's deeply unpleasant. Like I'm terrified of wasps, but when we're out there, like even this morning, they're just buzzing around everywhere. They're buzzing all over our grass and it's horrifying. So hopefully these will help. I put some sugar and fruit and things oh, on our floor. Yeah, I'm gonna go hang these on the back of the fence. Let's go hang our wasp traps. Oh my god, there's so many spider webs. It's like Charlotte's web and all her children along this fence. <gasps> anyway, okay, those are the two nests. I'm gonna check it in the morning and see how many wasps it's attracted. I hope all of them. This is terrifying. I feel like I'm in a dark, dark, dark wood over here. <laughs> and I'm gonna hang this one on our patio to hopefully pretend to be like an old nest. And apparently this keeps them away. Listen, I just read the signs at Home Depot, okay? I don't know if it's actually gonna work, but pray for us. Pray for us and our wasp traps. Okay, let's go check on the meow and see how she's doing. Hi, meow. Oh, did you already take a pee? I smell it. We don't normally ever have Meryl in a collar. Uh, Dan's mom wanted it on her just so she could know where she was because she was scared <laughs> about Meryl escaping off their balcony and she just wanted to have a little bell. Um, but we don't normally have a collar on her. I totally forgot, so. It's off, you're free of your dingly bell. You're free. <gasps> it's 5.45. Oh, that was a tough alarm. That was a tough alarm. Ooh, but like I just, I just love morning light. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. I wonder if there's any wasps in my traps. I wanted to see how Meryl did overnight. Oh, she's saying hello, mommy. Are you there? Are you there? Oh. <laughs> what is she doing up here, Meow? How is she sleep? How is she sleep? I'm 
not gonna let her out yet. I'm not gonna let her out yet because we're just gonna tidy up and uh, I don't know. She'll terrorize Dan while he's sleeping if I let her out now. But we also just don't know what to do about the carpet. About the carpet. She's gonna destroy the carpet. Oh, we don't know if we should put a gate and just not let her upstairs or what we can do, but. Yeah, I mean, obviously, if we if we had had the choice, we wouldn't have put carpet anywhere, and it would have been fine. But yeah, we're kind of just probably gonna have to accept the fact that she's gonna tear it apart. But, uh, anyway, at least she's here. She's here. Um, I'm gonna have a snack. I might just guzzle a little bit of coffee, Oof, and then I'm gonna run to 45. Also, I woke up with this. Ugh. You know when you just feel a mountain growing. Like, right, right dead center. Who gave it permission to be here? This real estate was not for sale. <laughs> oh my, oh my. I just got home from my 45. Then Meryl's in the backpack. <laughs> Amazing. All right, the day continues. I'm about to edit a video and we are waiting for the blinds, the blinds people, the blinds installers to arrive. We have been waiting for this day for a very long time. We had actually ordered the blinds, oh my God, I wanna say like at the beginning of June, which is crazy. We've been waiting for so long, but very excited to have them all installed today. We're gonna be getting rid of these paper, paper things. We only had the paper temporary blinds put in these two windows and then the two windows upstairs in the bedroom. So we're gonna have all the blinds installed. Dan and I are very nervous because we, we've never seen the blinds. We only saw like a little swatch <laughs> of the ones. So we're really hoping that our pick is okay, that we're gonna like them once they're installed, but very excited to have a little bit more privacy. There's a lot of windows in this place and we have neighbors and you know, when you're looking at your windows all day, you're like, hello neighbors, here I am. So those are gonna be installed. We'll show you what they look like after and fingers crossed that they appear as, as we hoped for them to appear, I suppose. But for now, I'm gonna have a little computer hour and I'll check back with you when the blinds are here. It feels so dark in here now, so crazy. But the ones we went for were this, I guess they're called Rattan, right? The specific ones. Dan and I both liked them because they gave us Tulum vibes. So it's very much like Tulum Villa feeling and we're pretty happy with how they turned out. And we liked it too because it was a little bit cooler. The accents in the house are a little bit of more of a cooler brown, so. Oh, Dan's playing with the remote. So the ones in the living room, these two, and then the two in our bedroom are motorized, but we didn't get any others motorized because we felt it was an unnecessary extra cost. But yes, it's expensive to make them motorized, obviously, but it just feels good. It feels good to have some privacy. It's really spooky in here at night. Like the one night Dan stayed downtown because he was having a little guy's night and I was here by myself and I was like, oh God. The whole world can see inside the house. <laughs> so it's nice that we have we have this privacy now. Meryl is still in the backpack. She's been in the backpack all day. She's so scared. She's shaking, poor thing. She's like, what are these smells? What are these sounds? No, no. Look at her. No. You're still in the backpack, kitty. Oh. She has literally been sitting in this backpack all day. And Dan's like, oh damn it, we're gonna have to redo all the laundry. We had done this huge laundry pile. You know, she's covered it in her fur, but it's so cute that she's in the backpack. <laughs> you can come out, kitty cat, you can. Oh, pretty girl, pretty girl, Meryl. Anyway, so those are the blinds. What do you guys think? What do you think of the blinds? I feel like I need a nap and like I need to cancel 
my other 6.30 at 45 in the morning. And I am feeling it and I am looking like a sleepy gal. Whoa, wow, wow. Mel? I've just put a mask on. Mask vivant. And Meryl has been free and roaming. No. It was so funny. She's actually, she's pretty good. Like she stayed in the backpack for a long time, but we coaxed her out of it. And now she's just been roaming around as we've been tidying up. So she seems like a happy kitty. She's rubbing her nose over all the corners, <laughs> claiming the place as hers. Wow. Oh. Oh, that's nice, Meryl. That's nice. Are you happy, kitty? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I think that Meryl approves of her new home. Don't you, kitty cat? Alright, friends, I'm going to leave this vlog here. Thanks for coming along with us. Meryl's new adventures in the house. And we've got blinds. What an exciting day. Say goodnight, Meryl. 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 Goodnight. Goodnight. Thanks for watching, y'all. Have a beautiful day or night wherever you are in the world. And we'll see you all very soon for a new video. I have no idea why this is showing pink. That was so funny. The lighting's all pink. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.